What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to TTP Ravens Media, bringing Ravens content every single day. And I just uploaded a video probably like 30 minutes ago, and Joshua sends me a text. I hadn't seen anything, and he says, hey, man, Wink Martindale just got fired. And I was like, he's like, let's let's talk about it. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, here we go. And so I am honestly very excited. This is something that we talked about a lot, and obviously Greg Roman was talked about the most, but Joshua, I'm going to quickly read off the statement from John Harbaugh and the Baltimore Ravens, and then let's get right into it. Uh, so this is from John Harbaugh. says, after several productive conversations, Don and I have agreed to move forward in separate directions. We have had a great run on defense, and I am very proud of what has been accomplished and the work he has done. Don has been a major contributor to the sex of success of our defense since 2012 and especially since he became defensive coordinator four years ago he has done a great job now it's time to pursue other opportunities sometimes the moment comes and it's the right time i am personally grateful for our friendship and for everything he has done in baltimore what do you think about the I, honestly i think it was a a firing i i don't Obviously, you like to see, like, coaches don't want to get fired. So, a lot of times when there is a friendship, they have the mutually parted ways. Like, technically, John Gruden wasn't fired. He agreed to part ways with the Raiders. He was fired. Um, but what do you think about uh, Wink Martindale getting out? I mean, honestly, uh, um, it was definitely very unexpected because, you know, everybody's been talking about um, Greg Roman. I mean, we've been talking about Greg Roman even before the heck the season started. Um, for, uh, on on our show, so you know everybody that's been you know praising Greg Roman. Hey, y'all still on this bad? Y'all still on this wagon? Y'all still feel like he can you know possibly bring us a Super Bowl? By all means, you know keep on supporting them. Not telling y'all not to, but you know we did bring up you know Wayne Martindale. Um, for the simple fact, you know I kept on. Well, me personally, you keep on having a thirty three year old, uh, maybe 30, 33 year old man. Keep on dropping back and dropping back in coverage. You keep on having one of your first round picks. You know your stud, uh, your your pass rusher. Keep on dropping back in coverage. You know you have your practice squad corners out here playing man to man against Devonte Adams and, uh, and other likes in other in other corners. I mean other uh, um, big name wide receivers. Heck, you put emphasis on Anthony Avery. You know who everyone in the you know organization well in the um Owens Mills uh room said oh yeah you know he's a pro bowler and stuff like that granted he had some good games he had some good moments but still he was still Anthony Avery subpar you know and you still you still sending out all out blitz and you know and it's still you know confusion in the secondary so you know what honestly I'm gonna say for something finally to happen in this organization since this season been over for us i'm glad to hear that someone's been out the door um me personally i'm ready for edc to just go ahead and say next john harbaugh and greg roman because you know yes this is a it has to be a snowball effect at this point it has to be a snowball snowball effect i mean every every one of them brought something good but i feel like all three of them have reached their limit here in baltimore and it's time to elevate and innovate and get different and, and grow uh, differently and create a new philosophy here in the Baltimore organization. Absolutely. I mean, one thing that I think is really interesting to point out here is Harbaugh says like through multiple conversations, right? There hasn't been any, you know, major statement from the Ravens, from Harbaugh, from Eric DaCosta about this season. And so we've been kind of waiting, right? We've talked about John Harbaugh should be fired. And, and this video is not to be a let's fire John Harbaugh video. This is to talk about Wink. But we've talked about John Harbaugh should be fired because he's not making changes, right? He's, mm -hmm. he's too buddy-buddy with his coordinators. And the fact that he let go of Wink is giving me a lot of hope that potentially he will let go of Greg Roman. Because, you know, he says, like, I value our friendship. Like, you know, we wish the very best for him. Like, that's showing that the Ravens recognized, hey – this isn't working. We need to do something different. And when you're playing in a division with Joe Burrow, who Joe Burrow can make plays with pressure in his face. He's one of the best um, quarterbacks in the NFL when it comes to when being blitzed. He's great. 
he's great against the blitz. Props to him. You know, obviously Mahomes is great against the blitz. So like that type of defense, Harbaugh recognized, you know what? The scheme that we need is not Wink's scheme. And the players that we need are not Wink's types of players because the Ravens need a pass rush with four man fronts. Wink doesn't bring that. And so him recognizing that gives me a lot of hope for potentially there's conversations going on with Greg Roman as well. Right. I mean, I, we, we started talking right before we started recording this and I said, this is the first domino to fall, right? Like this is the first time that John Harbaugh is stepping up because I believe when Dean Pease, um, left he retired i want to say yeah, and then he ended up coming back out of retirement to be the dc of tennessee and then he yep. went to uh, atlanta so harbaugh actually stepping up and making that decision i think is huge and i can't remember what the ravens did in 2000 uh after 2018 i can't remember if their offensive coordinator decided to leave um or if they fired him i think he decided to leave because he didn't want lamar jackson but i think, no, I think it was if, if it was marty mornheimer supposedly it was some type of uh the same the same situation almost okay yeah i think that was more in the fact that he was like vocal about not wanting lamar jackson and they were even it was more of like a you don't want our quarterback sorry he was our first round pick get out of here um type of situation not like oh we you know we need to change from your scheme it was like dude you won't play our players so like come on we need somebody else um right. and they, they went with greg roman but this is a big step for Harbaugh. Harbaugh is not one to make these types of decisions lightly. So, so let me ask you this question. Yeah. Since, since we have agreed on, you know, you know, um, Harbaugh, when it comes to his guys, coaching, coaching, coaching staff wise, you know, he doesn't mind for them going out, getting other jobs, things of that nature. And, you know, when it comes to OCs and DCs, you know, he's pretty much tight. And Wink and Greg, he's that's pretty much been his boys for a, a while. Do you think this was really Harbaugh making a move, or do you think this was hard? This is Harbaugh um, making a move out of desperation because he may be in the hot seat again. I, I, I absolutely I mean, think it's desperation. Absolutely yeah. desperation. He Harbaugh Harbaugh is one of those guys that that won't make a decision until it's desperate, right? Like, mm -hmm. like that. That's just who he's been his entire career, right? Like all of a sudden he was like, Oh, Lamar Jackson's actually good. We got to push in on him. We got to push in on him. Cause it was like, Oh no, no, no. We got Joe Flacco. And I was like, Oh, I need him to save my job. And, and I think that that's the exact same thing here. I think he is recognizing that Ravens fans and Ravens flock is, is upset and they want change to happen. And Harbaugh knows that if he doesn't make changes, the way that, the momentum of this fan base is going is going towards him being fired because the Ravens have never had this sort of anger, I guess, or resentment in their fan base towards management and, and decisions that they've made. Um, and so the organization is like, Hey, we do want to stop this. Like normally we get so much praise, right? You know, in Aussie, we trust in EDC, we trust, right? Like there's so much faith in the organization that I feel like the organization really respects what the fans want. I mean, like, even though they make some decisions, obviously they don't say, oh, fans want a wide receiver, we get a wide receiver. But they're like, hey, they really um, like this Lamar Jackson guy. They, they really like um, all these types of things. Let's try and do that. Um, and so I, I do think that Harbaugh recognized that, hey, if I don't do something, something could happen to me. And I wonder – I think I think I think Greg Roman goes. I, I honestly do after him firing uh Wink Martindale because the whole problem that I had was that hey, the Ravens like Harbaugh won't fire Greg Roman or Wink because he just won't fire his buddies. But the fact that he fired Wink, who he's worked with longer than Greg Roman, I feel like that shows um you know something. Because I feel like the Ravens' defense was significantly more injured than the Ravens' offense, right? Would, would you yeah. agree with that, Joshua? Like, yeah, 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 definitely. So, like, Greg Roman's lack of performance is worse than Wink Martindale's. Because, like, Wink's like, yeah, my system's press, man. We lost every corner we have and our safety and our linebacker. Yep. So, I can't really run that. So, it's not going to work very well. Whereas, at least Greg Roman had his – his tight end and, and his wide receivers most of the year, most of the year, Lamar Jackson. 
yeah. outside of the last few weeks of the season. So, um, yeah, I, I think this is this is signal signaling that Harbaugh's definitely at least having the conversations with Greg Roman, and maybe it doesn't result in him firing him, but I think it shows that they are talking about it, which I think is a step. Well, I did say those last couple of games. Who was down there on the sideline? Them home games. Oh yeah, EDC. <laughs> I did say you know EDC was down there on the sidelines. You know he could probably either he was really you know to get the to get the gist of how things are really going. You know, see how things are really being ran throughout the game. You know, get a true understanding because me as a, like I said, you know, if I'm a general manager, I would do the same thing Eric DeCosta was doing. I would be down there, you know, definitely in home games, even away games, to, you know, to see the camaraderie, to see, you know, the play calling, to see how the game is truly being managed, you know, in person. Because, you know, when you're in the sky box, it's a different type of view. But when you're up close and personal, you know, you see, you know, you see the interactions, you see how adjust, you see the adjustments that's supposed to be, that's supposed to be made. But when you see, you, when you see nothing happening, someone has to push the envelope. And I think, you know, those meetings in the backyard between John and Eric DaCosta has gotten very serious. He needs probably – Eric DaCosta has probably told him to say, hey, if some things do not change, I'm going to make changes. So make the changes before I make them for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. And – I, I want to know what everybody in the comment section down below thinks about this situation. Is, is this a good firing? Um, is it a bad firing? Does this signal that potentially Greg Roman could be gone? Does this signal that Harbaugh's on the hot seat? Like, like what do you guys think about this? Please let us know. Um, Joshua, do you have anything else to add, uh, you know, talking about this? I'm excited to for the next live stream that we do to talk with everyone oh, uh, about what's going on. But. Absolutely. Definitely excited for the live stream. And I mean, the only thing is, you know, there's a lot of guys that's out there. The only thing is, you know, some may not want to become a defense, may not want to be be a defensive coordinator because of what they resume and how they how they built their resume. You know, even though I would love a Ty Bowles here or you know a Brian Flores here, you know, I don't know how they will maybe maybe to work that out with both of those guys. Um, but you know, I feel like they can bring so much to the culture. I, I you know, the way they run their teams and their defensive schemes. You know, they bring so much energy and they bring, they remind me of the old Raven style of defense. And that's what we need, you know, a coach that's going to coach these younger athletes, these agile, mobile, hostile, you know, dogs and let the, let the leash off. So, I mean, yes, we went, let go of Wink. I know we're, ha I know, you know, McConnell and myself are happy. I guess the only question is they had to make a splash. Yeah. In this, uh, as uh, for the next coordinator, and you know, some people may say, "Oh, move Rod Ryan up." No, they need to go out and search for a defensive coordinator that is going to bring that old style Ravens defense, get you to a Super Bowl type of coaching. Yeah, and and I'm very excited to start looking at because I haven't been looking at defensive coordinators. Obviously, we've talked about offensive coordinators plenty of times, offensive coaches. Defensive coordinator, we need to look into that, and we will absolutely do that. We will definitely find a lot of guys probably make videos about a lot of specific people, especially when we start finding out who the Ravens are interviewing and things like that. But, you know, let us know what you guys think. You know, obviously guys that you think could be replacements. Um, if you think it should be Rob Ryan, let us know why, please. I don't think it should be Rob Ryan. I'll, uh, Joshua has already stated he doesn't want to be Rob okay. Ryan. Um, okay. I agree with him saying it should be a splash guy. But let us know. You know, absolutely let us know. Thank you everybody for watching. Subscribe for Daily Ravens content. We'll see all of you again next time.